Hi and welcome to Natural Aesthetics. This is the fourth session of the week for me, week three of my training program. It's a pretty long session, I actually had to split it into two segments. Um, the first portion I did prior to work early in the morning and the second in the evening, much later. So I'm really trying as hard as possible to be very regimented with my volume, the amount of sets that I'm doing per workout it needs to be consistent. You know, whereas before on a different program, if I didn't have time to complete that session, I may just have increased the intensity, you know, used HIT methods, gone to failure or beyond, to reduce the amount of sets done so I could squeeze that session in. Um, but I'm really focusing on keeping the sets consistent on this program. So if I have to train for two hours or more, if I have to come back for um, sets later on, then so be it. I have to stay true to the program, otherwise I cannot prove or disprove its effectiveness. So this session is pretty simple. Um, basically, apart from biceps, it's all of the other body parts that I'm not really trying to prioritize on this mesocycle. So I start off with uh, chest supported bent row. Um, I then move on to behind the neck shrugs. The reason for those in, in that position behind the neck, or behind the buttocks, is it just places less stress on my lower back than front shrugs. I then move on to biceps, um, seated dumbbell incline curl, followed by a single arm cable curl, and then some forearm work with a, a cable curl. I might prefer the cable curl to a barbell curl, just because the cable rotates. The bars that I was usually using on the forearm curls don't rotate, and it's much harder on the wrists. Um, you're more likely to get aches and pains. With the cable, it kind of spins around, so it's a lot safer and a lot more comfortable. Um, for the last two exercises, I have to come back later in the evening. I did some leg extensions, two sets prior to the squats, um, and then I did 140k for free, no belt. I did three, you know, relatively heavy warm up sets prior to that, before uh, finishing the session with some stiff leg deadlifts. I do these on a raised platform of about eight inches or so, um, just to increase the stretch of my hamstrings. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so you can be made aware of any videos that I do upload. Check out my social media, the links are in the description box below and stay strong.